Cheers! Happy Homebrew Wednesday. It's been a while. It's been summer. I've been busy. I haven't really been brewing much either. Um, I did manage to brew um, 10 gallons of porter that um, ended up going into the rum barrel um, finally after sitting around a couple months. But uh, um, tastes pretty good going in. Um, as a new recipe that I, I tried and uh, turned out pretty well. Um, pretty pleased with the flavor. So that's going in the barrel um, and that's probably going to sit a couple months or so. And then um, 10 gallons going in, I'm going to split it. And then I think I'm doing 5 gallons of, um, of like a vanilla coconut chocolate type thing and then 5 gallons of like a Mexican chocolate uh, um, spiced uh, chocolate type uh, porter out of that um, the only thing I've really brewed um, and I'll throw a clip up here um, I transferred over um, my ch tart cherry or sour cherry brett um, into uh, basically secondary tank and then I'm gonna blend that with the one that uh, I pulled out like two or three months ago um, and then I transferred in um, I did a 10 gallon batch of um, basically Brett Saison um, using um, 10 gallon batch split it into two fives I did uh, um, some uh, Omega Saison yeast and then I used some Brett Saison yeast and the other one um, I did use um, some 644 along with the Omega and then that went into the barrel along with some sour farmhouse dregs that I um, built up so we'll see where that one goes um, the Brett Saison's tasting pretty good um, just gonna be letting that age a couple months before I do anything with it but uh, I'm actually gonna be trying um, going back to basics I guess if you will um, um, got my hands on uh, some cans of uh, a can of Coopers and a can of uh, Muttons. Um, uh, Coopers is a New Zealand IPA, um, and then uh, Muttons is uh, an Oakdale. So um, that one I got at NHC at the end of the conference. So I'm going to be um, probably throwing those down pretty quick here and uh, shooting some video, kind of flashback, you know, what is it, eight years later um seeing if i learn anything and do anything different than i did when i first started out brewing um maybe get some tips and tricks in there while while i'm doing them but uh anyways um so that's coming down the pipe i'm gonna be brewing up my sj pour challenge beers very quickly here um i gotta brew two like right away so um, it's gonna be a little more challenge. Um, usually you just brew one and you're good for two rounds. Now you gotta brew two for two rounds. So, um, so I'll be getting those down pretty soon. <clears throat> then I got a Hefeweizen BSG kit um, that I'll be making too here in the near future. So, so I actually have a couple of extract videos that'll probably be coming out um, next. Um, but, uh, but it'll be cool. I'm looking forward to trying them. I'm looking forward to kind of going, like I said, back to basics and, and see if I learned or if I do anything different than I did the first time around when I first started making videos. A couple other things that I got going on is uh, there's, there's uh, I want to get down another uh, kettle sour. Um, and then I just kegged up my um, my Oud Bruin that's got to be going on like two years old right now. So that's uh, in keg, carbonate, and then I'm going to bottle that and um, see how that turns out <laughs> um, I did add some cherry juice in it so um, hopefully uh, hopefully it'll have a nice cherry flavor in it when uh, when it's all said and done not much exciting in this one except for this right here this is actually every homebrew but uh, Pretty excited to play with this. Um, been eyeing it up for a while. I know Lou Brew's been eyeing them up for a while too. But um, there's a 
place just north of me about a half an hour that um, was at NHC and they had a, a canner sealer machine um, and cans and it's right down the road for me so um, that's new and uh, I'm playing with it right now um, I kind of did it started an unboxing video um, but I think I'll be playing with this a little bit and looking on on the internet there wasn't a whole lot of information on this um, machine at all so I think I'm gonna kind of do some videos as I'm learning um, swapping out from 16 to 12 ounce cans um, maintaining there's a whole bunch of um, lube or oil points and you gotta um, put some grease in the, the gearbox and stuff so there's some maintaining stuff there's um, um, some other stuff that uh, I think I'll end up shooting videos for and then sharing it with the YouTubes. But I'm excited about that. That's pretty cool. I think it'll definitely make um, beer mail a whole lot easier. Because um, you don't have to worry about the glass getting shattered. Um, they had asked me about doing a, um, a test on pressurizing these cans. Um, Oscar Blues said that they can hold up to like 90 PSI. Um, so he, they asked if I could test actually purposely over carbonating, um, in the can and seeing, um, doing some experiments on that. So I think, uh, what I'm going to do is with one of those extract batches, I'm going to, um, carbonate in the can. I might actually just throw a couple, um, of the little carbonation drops in a can or a couple cans and just let them go for a month and see what happens maybe two months um, it'd be kind of cool to see if uh, maybe I can reach out to one of the local breweries and actually uh, somehow test to see what the pressure is inside of them but um, they said they, they won't leak up to 90% or 90 psi as long as you have the, the seal on there they're the same company that makes the crawler machine so at least you know uh, it's a reputable sealer but yeah so i'm pretty stoked it's uh stay tuned for some canning videos yeah other than that, i'm working on a review for the um the bouncer pro um it's the bigger one um i know nate got uh the smaller one i think uh josh hoover uh, man bear pig got um got a smaller one as well um, so this is the uh, the bigger one, and it has the the threaded inlets, so you could either put the barbs that they give you. Um, I'm just waiting for hardware because I'm going to convert it to camlock fittings, a female camlock on one side and the male on the other side, and then I can pretty much put it anywhere within my process. So, so I'll be playing with that and then shooting some um, some review videos on that as well. So. Um, so that's kind of what's going on here at every home brewing. Not, not, not any crazy brewing excitement, but uh, but I'm still around, just enjoying summer and kind of taking a, a break before uh, getting back into some uh, video editing and, and stuff like that. So so stick around. I'll be uh, I'll be back at it here shortly. Um, obviously, you can see that there's new stuff that. I'll be uh, putting out here shortly. So um, thanks for uh, watching. Hope everybody's having a great summer. Um, and I will be checking in with you guys soon. So cheers.